Hey guys, I'm back with a little bit more pranayama for you. So today's practice that we're going to be speaking about is called belly breathing. Now, as most of you guys know, we don't actually breathe into our belly. It's just that idea that we want to breathe into the bottom of our lungs. And the reason that that's so important is because the blood pulls in the bottom of our lungs and that's just due to gravity. So when we're pulling the breath into the bottom of the lungs and breathing oxygen into that area, it has the best conversion rate of oxygen into our bloodstream. And that's really what we're looking for. For a majority of us, we're usually breathing into our chest. And this is what we call breathing into our accessory muscles. That's something we want to avoid. It's not going to cause any harm by any stretch of the imagination, but we always want to be making sure we're breathing into the bottom of the lungs so the oxygen is entering the bloodstream. So you guys would know your diaphragm is your breathing muscle and the diaphragm works like a vacuum. As you breathe in, the diaphragm moves down in space, creating space for the lungs to expand. And as you breathe out, the diaphragm moves back up through the torso, pushing the air back out. So ideally, when we're belly breathing, it's like giving our diaphragm a workout, which is so phenomenal for this muscle. It needs to be treated like a muscle, like every other one that we have in our body. So belly breathing is really, really important. And really, it should be something we do all of the time. So we'll practice a little bit of belly breathing. One of the first points to this is making sure that you fully exhale. For a lot of us, we have really shallow exhales, but we want to ensure we're pushing the belly button towards the spine to get rid of all of that stale air that lingers in our lungs. So usually we start with a long breath out. Breathe out until you cannot breathe out anymore. And then as you breathe in, breathe slow through the nose and see if you can feel the diaphragm moving down into your torso and you'll get to a point where you cannot breathe in anymore. Get to that point. And then as you breathe out, control the exhale. See if you can feel the diaphragm moving slowly up the torso as the air is pushed back out. Fully exhale, breathe in nice and slow, always through the nose. diaphragm moves down in space breathing out slow and steady diaphragm moves up in space belly breathing is really important so for some of us this is going to be a little tough to begin with the way to check if you're belly breathing a good little tip is to place your hands on your belly breathe into your hands try and expand the belly so the hands move forward and then as you exhale, follow the belly in towards the spine. And that's a really cool way to visualize it in a little bit of a different way. All right, so let me know how you go with belly breathing. This is also a really great practice to do while you're laying down, especially in Shavasana. So get belly breathing, guys. I'd really love to hear how you guys go with it.